Hello everyone and welcome back to the Velvet Lounge Life and we are going to talk Outlander. So think of this as a quick news report, an update on everything that's going on as far as the cast, the crew, as well as Men in Kilts, which stars not only Sam, but Graham as well. So let's get started. First of all, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. This is an open invitation for you and exclusive to do so. All you have to do is click the subscribe button and you are done. Nothing else. So let's get into this. As you know, Sam had there were rumors initially about him being the next James Bond. And then there were rumors that he denied such rumors. And then he auditioned for the part, the role of the dubious, the wonderful Mr. James Bond. And then it was revealed he would not be the next James Bond. So all of your Bond theories have been answered and kind of debunked within just a couple seconds. Now, who's to say in the future something wouldn't change? Come on, he is pretty dashing. And especially in this photo, you can see it. You can see it. The next thing that's going on is, yes, the title is correct. And I verified this with various sources. This is just not a willy-nilly article, but... And this one is written by Mark Holm, as you can see. I suspect that may not be his real name. But the Outlander crew rebels. Of course, they're going to use the word rebels because it's Outlander against the producers in a contract dispute because, hello, super incredibly successful show. Initially, when these people were brought on as crew and even cast, you're not brought in at the highest rate of pay. What happens is if a show is successful, then the pay increases the more seasons the show goes on. Also, it becomes harder to become cast or crew once the show becomes a high success as Outlander has. Therefore, what occurs is the crews kind of sits there and reevaluates what their value is on the show. And they're like, wait a minute, we're still at our original pay. I think we deserve a bit of an increase. So having these contract disputes is not abnormal. I believe it's more of a contract renegotiation. Obviously, this is you know, a news article written by this individual for the Times. And so, yes, it's going to be a little more of a spicy, if you will, title than normal. And how do I know these things about behind the scenes? Because I am an actress and I've been acting since I was 18 years old. So Men in Kilts. The show was so good, you guys. It was so fun. And if you want me to kind of show you more from previous episodes, especially if you're outside of the United States, or if you do are in the United States, but you do not subscribe to Stars, who is the company, obviously, that also produces and distributes Outlander. So why not do this companion, which was perfect. And it also brought back the fabulous, the marvelous, the hot and sexy Mr. Graham McTavish. And what they did is they went all over Scotland doing a bunch of traditional and even some slightly non-traditional Scottish things. And the show was just so much fun. It really was. And I hope that it comes back for season two. I don't know if that question has been answered because it has not been answered. Um, will there be a Men in Kilts 2? Maybe. And if it is renewed, will it still take place in Scotland? I kind of hope so because there's still... I, I want to say, and this is me going from memory, that there were like eight seven or eight episodes so you cannot cover an entire country in seven or eight episodes so there's still more for them to explore there they could get deeper into the food 
some of the history, some of the architecture. Um, they did go and visit Graham's, um, what would have been his Highland home if he had lived back in the day. And they also went to visit Sam's and the difference in like what you would see today, it was kind of hilarious. And I won't even tell you about that unless you guys once again want me to go through and do a review of the shows. And what I'll, I can do is take probably the best two elements from each show and go, you know, go through that with you guys and show you some of the imagery, etc. So let me know. But right now it's still a question as to whether or not that show will be renewed. Of course, Stars has to, as every company does and should if you're a good one, they will look at their numbers and see what the viewership was. Also, if fans are up in arms and wave those flags enough and put on their kilts and run across a field as if they were in Culloden, then I am pretty sure that they will listen to those people. And I do think the show could have been advertised better. I think that unless you are a Stars subscriber, as I am, as we are a subscriber of a couple different premium channels, I really don't know if you would know that it was a thing. Like, for example, they could have had Graham and or Sam on some of these talk shows here in the United States. But remember, Sam is shooting Outlander, so he couldn't really do the junket. But Graham could have done the junket. Like, it's okay to send him out on his own, as long as he's in a kilt, of course. So we will see what happens with that. Next, season six. When is it going to premiere? Is it still in the works? Yes, they are, they're still working on season six. However, right now, the estimated date for that premiere season six first show here in the United States on Stars, of course, is slated for sometime in September. So at this point, they're probably just, they're probably shooting maybe another episode and a half or so, and then they will go into editing and sound and all lighting, all that type of thing, and wrap everything up in a pretty bow, review it, make more edits, changes, etc. And then obviously the finished product will be out. So, um, Town and Country is a great source if you want to get information for Outlander. It's probably my third favorite source, um, but it's very, once again, very reliable. And, you know, I guess I'm throwing a little shout out there to Town and Country. So, of course, season six hasn't even gotten hot off the presses, but you know us. The mad, crazy fans. We need to know already <laughs> if season seven is slated. So let's see what all of these guys have to Those say about that. They are all on exactly the same subject matter. At Euler said, seventeen forty-three. Can we end the speculation if there will be an Outlander season seven announcement? At Neil Sassana. M-A-Y-E-L. Are you prepping for season seven? So what are your thoughts? Will, will there be a season seven? And another thing, so I'll give you a second to think about that. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. I had to include the zero. Also, do you think they will answer the question? Because they do this often to us where they will not answer the question and kind of leave us hanging. And yes, that's Richard Rankin, one of my favorite, favorite actors on the show who plays Roger. And just to give you a little, I, you know, I should do some more spoilers. So spoiler alert. So Roger is going to have a new profession. And I've talked about this in my previous Outlander episode, so if you haven't watched it, please do. And I will attach up here in this corner the list of my video playlist for that. So the very last video in that playlist, just look at the dates. That one will give you the answer. Very, very interesting profession. Also, Sophie, who plays Brie, of course, 
she gets back into something that she did before that is totally acceptable to the people of the 1700s, especially when it comes to oppressing women. Um, so it'll be interesting to see her kind of get into what would have been a side gig, and yes, I am doing quotation marks, side gig, um, which is very cool, but also there will be, obviously, as we should know by now, a revolution on the front. Um, we know who the winners and the losers are of that, and I would say the winners made a lot of people losers in it, and impacted history for hundreds and hundreds of year, years, even impacts it today. But at the end of the day, there's going to be a lot of action. There will be kidnapping. There will be jailing. There will be a murder. There will be a baby that must be removed from the wound. There will be a harlot that causes tr problems. Someone who you would not suspect at that um, and what else will there be? There will be scandal, definitely some scandalous scandal going on. There will be a rescue per se, because someone fesses up. There will be a ship involved. It seems as if they can never get off of the ocean. Like this, there always seems to be the ship that not just a boat, like, you know, a boat, but an actual ship always seems to be involved every season. Um, there will be a, a mentioning of someone who, I will even say it, there will be a mentioning of Stephen Bonnet again. However, there will be a verification that will totally zero out the legacy of Stephen Bonnet, and it involves Roger and baby Jemmy. There will be new life that actually survives, but with caveats involved. And at the very end of this season, I wouldn't be surprised if you saw some folks traveling back to the future. I just spoiled a lot of stuff there for you guys. Please let it continue past season six. I see a theme emerging here. At Katrina Balfe. Am I coming back to work next year, and can I have a bigger trailer? I'm afraid, Katrina, no, you can't have a bigger trailer. However, you are coming back for season seven, yes! Yay! <laughs> there will be a season seven! So, we're greedy as hell. Will there be a season eight? You know us! You know us! We have to know! <laughs> But no, the excitement over the fact that there will be a season seven is extraordinary and it makes me happy as well as I'm sure many of my fellow Outlander lovers, especially you guys who are not in the United States. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching my channel to get the updates as well as the tea and as well as of course, every single spoiler imaginable, um, plus a lot of things that are really kind of cool and really kind of creepy that are coming up. Oh, I forgot to mention jail is involved again. Why can't people stay out of sh cuffs and shackles? Don't know, but trouble, trouble everywhere. Bees are involved. A lettuce field is involved. A bear is involved. The Beasley twins and Lizzie Oh, yes. Let's use the word, tr I think it's called truffle. I just learned that word the other day. I didn't even know what that was. So look it up. It's T-R-O-U-P-L-E. Yeah, you guys, a little wild and craziness occurred even in the 1700s amongst those who you would think would be the most innocent. Freaky. So anyway, thank you guys for tuning in to the Velvet Lounge Life Please remember to subscribe to the channel and remember that your health is your wealth and without your health, you have absolutely nothing. You are going to be on a happy ride with us this season, so stay tuned. Please watch our other videos. Leave a comment. I appreciate the comments so much. I love the banter, so please, it's okay if you have opposing opinions as long as you're open to listening to others. 
and as long as you're kind.